Hi, friends, welcome to this part, part 31. This is a members only part, all real certification questions. Let's jump into the questions. See, they are using API gateway, which is used to maintain APIs at scale. And they are using Lambda, which is used for serverless computing. And it is used primarily for to keep the cost low. Now the problem is botnets. They can put lot of fraudulent requests. You want to block unauthorized users. How will you do that? First one says you will create a usage plan and the key and you will only distribute to genuine users. So you can distribute this. The customers can access your application through some selected APIs only and throttling request to those APIs will be uh, limited. And, and a quota will be set. So this is definitely something which we would need if you are in a temple and lots of people come in. The security will first try to reduce the number of people entering inside. So first, this is the first action. Now we have to choose two answers. See, B is saying that using Lambda, you will try to ignore fraudulent IPs. So Lambda is not a security solution. It is a serverless solution, compute solution. So do not use Lambda for security solution. There are other services in AWS meant for security. Just like here, if you have a requirement of Ferrari, do not use Honda Civic. See, see they are talking about WAF. This is a security solution to protect your web applications like it will help you filter web traffic it will prevent fraudulent account takeover and it will administer WAF with APIs so this would be my second answer so D is wrong because you cannot uh, make everything private there has to be a public API so this is wrong because this is a customer facing application. It is not an application uh, which is a back end application. It is a front ending application. And E is wrong because it is telling you to create IAM rules. So if Amazon.com, for example, anybody, any Tom, Dick, and Harry can access it. So even Ran Ranveer Singh can also access it. So will they create uh, first an IAM user for Ranveer Singh? And then they will say, hey, Ranveer Singh, now you know what? We have set up. A user for you now you can go ahead with your shopping will they do that no that doesn't happen right you can straight away go without worrying about whether you have an im role or not you are able to shop so this is wrong so these are my two answers see the moment i see the word streaming real time global online audience on demand streaming i only think about cloudfront it is born for this purpose provides low latency high transfer speeds so we should apply our thumb rule this is the answer but you might ask why not global accelerator it uses global network for communication and hence provides high availability performance see it is a networking service it is different to cdn cdn a lot of time netflix amazon uh, prime they use it so this is wrong route 53 see it is primarily used to route end users to internet applications this question is not a routing question it is not talking about routing anywhere so 50 out 53 is wrong transfer acceleration it is used to transfer files at a higher speed across the network it is secure the transfer of files over long distances does the question talk about file transfers anywhere no so why will we choose this as an answer so this would be my final answer. See, a company is storing the data in this database. Okay, which type of database? It is a Postgres DB cluster, and you want to store it for five years, and you should delete all the data after five years. So only five years you have to store, but audit logs you have to keep it for a longer time indefinitely. What two options should you use here? That is the question. First one tells you to use a manual snapshot of DB cluster. See anything manual is not required here. You have to give an automated solution. Nobody would 
create manual shop shop software five years or whatever so that is wrong second is saying life cycle policy it is used to transition objects from one storage class in s3 to another storage class or it is used for expiring actions so does the question say that you have to move across the storage class no they are telling boss please delete it that's why this will not apply because we just have to delete it that's all second thing is life cycle policy is not used for automated backups it is used for transition across storage classes that's why this is also wrong see c is talking about automated backup retention for five years we have to uh, take the backup but there is a better option how will you take the backup boss that you are not talking about this solution so this is wrong i have better options d and e d why because d is using cloudwatch logs export this is correct why because i want to keep my audit logs indefinitely it addresses this problem and e because they will use aws backup which is a automated solution from aws to manage and automate data protection by creating copies and storing the data it creates immutable copies that means nobody can update the data so it addresses my requirement it will keep the backups for five years that is what we need because here it says that data must store for five years and after that it should delete and hence d and e would be my final answer so this is a members only video i hope you understood the concept explained this brings us to the end of part 31 see you in the next part